Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Vault. My name is Rob, it's good to see you guys back here on the channel. I'm gonna try a new kind of video, hopefully every sort of uh, maybe two to three weeks, just kind of uh, the watch list, just kind of sharing with you guys what I have actually watched. We do an awful lot of buying as collectors and sometimes I kind of think we don't like sort of talk or review a lot of stuff. I know I do review stuff here on the channel that I get sent, but a lot of stuff I buy myself, I don't really get to talk to you guys about. So um, with that being said, I have a list here of stuff I've watched over roughly about the last two weeks. So let's get into this video here. Okay, so some of these you might have actually seen in the May haul video. So uh, I did pick those up throughout May and then obviously got to watch them now. So first one up is this movie, Two Night Stand. This is a fantastic movie here. I really like this one. Uh, I mentioned that in the video. Uh, Miles Teller and Anna Lee Tipton is in this one. I found this one night randomly on uh, Sky Movies here, a channel over here in uh, in the UK and Ireland, uh, a movie channel. And uh, this is a German import, this version. It does have reversible sleeve art so you can, uh, you get rid of the German um, the German writing here on the front. But uh, yeah, this is, um, this is a really cool movie. Uh, Anna Lee Tipton is, um, she sort of plays a character who was engaged and then the engagement's called off and she finds herself a year or two later kind of down the line and not moved on and sort of has this, uh, goes to have this one night stand with the guy who was uh, played by Miles Teller and uh, they get snowed in his apartment and they end up staying there two nights and they fall in love and that's kind of uh, the gist of the movie. I thought it was really well done and uh, I like Ali Tipton. I thought she was quite good and I went on to kind of watch her and some other stuff as well after this. Uh, I think I mentioned all that in the in the haul video but um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, as I said, German import. The only one thing I would say about the German import is you can obviously just play it with the uh, is uh, DTS uh, 5.1 master audio on this, so I was able to play this with the English track. But some of the um, so they're kind of doing like an online dating thing, kind of a thing, you know, talking on a on a website or whatever. But it's all uh, all the text is in German uh, on the screen, which obviously it wasn't when I saw it here on TV. So um, that would be the one uh, complaint I would say about uh, this German import. But um, yeah, pretty cool movie. If you haven't seen it, I recommend checking it out. If you like something kind of like that and has a kind of a happy ending at the end, uh, do check that one out. Two Night Stand. That was the first one up. Next one up here is, again, this was in the haul video. Uh, I might have mentioned it. You might not know I'm a big Pearl Jam fan. So this is Pearl Jam Let's Play 2. This is um, this is like the media book, I believe they're called, uh, Blu-ray. So it's kind of done in the hard cover. Um, you open it up, you get the Blu-ray disc there. And uh, there's actually a booklet kind of inside of the... Uh, you know sort of uh, glued in or whatever and uh, there's a bunch of there's some writings and there's a bunch of pictures so if you're not familiar with this uh, so like this is Pearl Jam playing uh, two gigs at Wrigley Field home of the Chicago Cubs uh, Eddie Vedder is a big fan of the Chicago Cubs baseball team I myself watched uh, the Cubs uh, baseball and I watched the Blackhawks Chicago Blackhawks uh, hockey so um, this was kind of a double for me and it kind of coincides with the Cubs winning the uh, the World Series for the first time in like over 100 years in 2016 so it was really cool it's kind of like a kind of like a concert film slash like story of the Eddie and the Cubs and that kind of thing so it's really really well done and um, yeah fantastic stuff you know nice um, I think I believe this has a DTS uh, mix on it I'm not too sure doesn't really say but it uh, sounds good looks good and um, if you're a fan of music uh, or Pearl Jam or the Cubs I uh, suggest checking this one out let's play too there is um, this is the blu-ray there is a DVD CD combo available and there's a vinyl I have the vinyl on order I'm waiting to get that so uh, looking forward to that so that was the next one up Pearl Jam let's play too now next one up I did a review of this so I'm not going to say much about this I will stick a link up in the corner to the review this is Jay and Silent Bob reboot uh, I was sent this by the guys at HD Movie Source so I did review this on the channel so do check out that video if you want to see me talking a bit more uh, in depth about this one or not in depth just talk more about it um, yeah it was uh, you know it's a hundred and odd minutes um, I, I, as I said in the review, I think the first 40 minutes of this was just a rehashing of like, I kind of felt watching it like this is the same old thing again. And then um, Harley Quinn Smith comes in, Kevin Smith's daughter, and she plays Jay's daughter in the movie. Um, and I thought she was hilarious. I thought the movie kind of picked up then. So um, yeah, those uh, it's those two lovable stoner guys. So um, if you're into all that sort of Kevin Smith stuff, you probably enjoy this. But like I said, I didn't really, the first 40, half an hour, 40 minutes, I felt weren't great and then picked up uh, for the last kind of hour of the movie 
This next one up now, this was, I have worked with Flickr Rally a bit here on the channel, you guys may know, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, they sent me a bunch of stuff, so I'm going to do, this will be in an upcoming review video, but this is 3D Rarities Volume 2, or 3D Rarities 2, a collection of ultra rare and stunningly restored films. Those guys at Flickr Rally do a fantastic job of like finding down these old, sort of forgotten about movies and uh, do some restorations on them, and they do some really nice, uh, there's booklets and stuff inside, it's, um, there is, um, it's a uh, region free, so, but there is a 2D version and a 3D version. I don't have a 3D setup up here uh, uh, anymore at home, so I did watch the 2D. But pretty cool to see these old films and kind of, uh, you know, look into some of the history of like 3D filmmaking, really cool. So I will be talking about this more in an upcoming uh, video on the channel. Next one, uh, one of my favorite films, uh, High Fidelity, John Cusack. Um, I had the DVD of this and upgraded to the Blu-ray in between. And a uh, fantastic movie. I've actually, I got, I just got the book as well. I, this was a book uh, turned into a movie, and I, I have ordered the book that just came to the day. So I'm looking forward to reading the book to see uh, how well it holds up to the movie. But um, yeah, fantastic stuff. Just a plain old uh, region free. This one. Um, I'm a big fan of John Cusack. I really like his work. And uh, this alongside Gross Point Blank are two of my favorite uh, John Cusack movies. So. Um, yeah, if you're not familiar with High Fidelity, give it a give it a look. It's um, John Cusack plays like a record store owner who sort of goes through a breakup and then goes back through all his relationships and all his breakups. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really cool film. I really enjoy it. And uh, fantastic stuff. Jack Black's in there as well. And uh, I believe it's um, Lisa Bonet. I think that's uh, Lenny Kravitz's daughter, isn't it? Um, she's in there as well. It's really cool. Uh, definitely worth a look. If you haven't seen this one, High Fidelity, I do recommend that one as well. Next one, I didn't show this in the haul video, so this is new. You will see this at the end of June haul, but I picked up the Christopher Nolan 4K box set. This is like seven Christopher Nolan movies in 4K. Uh, I wanted to upgrade some of the Nolan stuff that I have. I'm a big fan of Christopher Nolan, uh, his movies, so I wanted to upgrade some of his stuff. Uh, into the 4k so um i'm watching these in order that they're in the box set so dunkirk was the first one up fantastic movie 4k looks unbelievable picture and uh, sound there's, these are all um i believe they're all dts dunkirk was dts yeah dts hd master audio 5.1 tracks on all of these which differ slightly from some of the blu-ray releases uh, on the batmans and anyway but uh dunkirk was unbelievable in 4k uh, especially the imax stuff so uh not this box set but even just dunkirk and 4k uh, i do recommend checking that one out next one up again was in the hall um late 90s uh, horror movie the faculty fantastic stuff hadn't seen this in the longest time didn't have it in the collection grabbed the blu-ray really cheap here and uh plain old disc inside um this is the region b so it's only for over here but um yeah it really held up well i remember like really enjoying this when i was younger and uh, hadn't seen it in the longest time directed by robert rodriguez of course pretty cool cast in here like josh hartnett's in there elijah wood uh jordana brewster clay duval um, Robert Patrick's in there as well, uh, Terminator 2, uh, you guys will know him, but um, yeah, it held up really well. And I, I, at this, I think at the start of the movie, the um, transfer wasn't the greatest looking, and I thought like, oh, we're in for a bad one. But um, yeah, really decent looking transfer on this one, and uh, again, DTS, uh, HD Master Audio 5.1 surround track. Um, the only thing I think looking back now is like, you know, at some of those 90s, uh, you know, sort of mid to late 90s movies, it's the special effects doesn't look great. Um, the couple of special effects shot in it, but yeah, really, uh, really cool uh, horror movie, if alien horror movie, if you haven't seen it, yeah, I do recommend checking that one out as well. Um, next one up, oh man, this movie was recommended to me by so many people after I had said I watched Hereditary and thought it was pretty cool. This is Midsummer, uh, the Blu-ray, so this is, um, this is a two disc version so there's a there is a director's cut and there is a theatrical cut in here um i got this in work so as you guys may know i work in a, a small uh, dvd and bookshop uh, in work and um, we're closed at the moment obviously with everything's going on but uh, waiting to go back in but um this was recommended to me for the longest time by so many people uh, like subscribers here on the channel people who follow me on instagram customers in the shop and um, we had the director's cut it sold out pretty quickly um and then we got it back. So we grabbed it when we got it back in because people were looking for this director's cut because it's significantly longer. Yeah, 170 minutes uh, director's cuts, 23 minutes longer than the uh, theatrical cut. So, um, and I bought it ages ago and was guilty of buying stuff and not watching. So, you know, the whole sort of premise of this video is to go back and let you guys, share with you guys what I am actually watching the stuff I'm buying. So um, I did go back and watch this and man, this was a crazy film. I sort of expected something crazy going in. 
uh, after Hereditary, but um, yeah, absolute madness. Wasn't expecting it at all. Uh, I have to kind of say, like, this Florence Pugh, the lead, I think that's how you pronounce her name, uh, I wasn't, like, overly big on her going in. She was in a couple of things that I, I didn't... I didn't see an awful lot of them, but I kind of thought like, oh, I don't know about, I don't know about this actress, but um, she's really fantastic in this movie, uh, really well done. Ari Aster, um, uh, of course, the director. Uh, I do recommend it. A lot of people, when I posted on Instagram, had asked me about like the difference between the theatrical and director's cut. I can't really speak to that because I didn't watch the theatrical cut. I just went straight for the director's cut. I thought like. If everybody's kind of recommending this, I need to see this. I'll just go straight for the director's cut and see what he wanted to kind of do with the movie. So, um, yeah, uh, if you're into the horror stuff and uh, sort of summer cult stuff, uh, a lot of people who liked Wicker Man sort of talked about this as well. So, um, yeah, kind of similar in that. But, uh, yeah, do uh, do check this out as well. It's uh, it's pretty crazy. Um, it is 18, as I will mention. So there, there's some crazy stuff in there. Um, just beware before you head into that one, Midsummer. Uh, next one up, we go back to the Nolan 4K box set, Batman Begins 4K. Um, I'm a big fan of Batman, you guys know that here on the channel. Um, I, I love that Nolan's Batman trilogy. Um, I think if you were to pick like a, like a weak film, um, Batman Begins might be it, but you have to kind of appreciate setting up for the second and third movies as well. Um, I will kind of say I wasn't blown away by the 4K on this Batman Begins. I mean, it looked okay. There wasn't anything like Dunkirk and wasn't anything like the other uh, movies we're going to talk about here out of this box set. But um, I honestly couldn't see a lot of differences between the 4K and the Blu-ray. I have a couple of Blu-ray versions of it here in the collection. Um, so I just wasn't blown away by the, by the 4K of Batman Begins. That was the next one up. Um, this other one I got back in the, uh, the Arrow sale um, a while back in Nightfall. Um, I can't remember if somebody uh, recommended this to me or I just picked it up. Um, I, I saw Anne Bancroft was in it and I'm a fan of Anne Bancroft so I picked it up. Um, the Arrow Academy release here. Here's the back and the, uh, you get a little booklet and of course the reversible sleeve art in there. Sometimes I like to flip these uh, reversible sleeve arts but uh, uh, Jack's directed by Jacques Tournier, Tournier. I'm bad at pronouncing those French names, so uh, hopefully you guys know who I'm talking about. Uh, Aldo Ray is in this as the lead. I wasn't too sure about him. Brian Keith is in there as well. This is a movie from 56, 1956. Um, pretty cool. Uh, basically, somebody is sort of accused of killing his friend when they sort of have encountered uh, bank robbers or something kind of along the way and um, he's kind of on the run and pretty cool I like sort of checking out these older movies and um, black and white looks fantastic and uh, this is a it's just a 1080p presentation uh, Arrow does a nice job of uh, restorations on some of these things and you get a booklet and stuff in there so um, yeah if you're kind of getting into those kind of old uh, like noir sort of stuff um, I recommend I'm starting to watch a little bit more of those things a little more of those things uh, lately so um, yeah next one up was Nightfall uh, do check it out I did get it in the sales so I'm not too sure if the price might be back up at this stage jump on back into the Nolan 4k so now we hit the Dark Knight 4k uh, compared to Batman Begins, this was worlds above it. It's just absolutely fantastic. 4K picture looks amazing, especially those IMAX things, like the opening, the, you know, the bank robbery. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, all the stuff in the underground, I believe that was shot in Chicago, I want to say, with the truck and Joker and the, 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 the tumbler and all that sort of stuff. Fantastic stuff. Again, DTS uh, 3.1 surround track. Uh, yeah, really highly recommend. If you're into the Batmans, do check out. You need to see these in 4K because they're just, it's a whole other thing. It's unbelievable. Um, next one up again, I will be talking about this, as I mentioned earlier, in the, of a Flickr Rally video coming up, kind of a spotlight in Flickr Rally. So this was um, a Joseph L. Anderson movie, Spring Night, Summer Night, that they sent me. Uh, Multi-region uh, Blu-ray and DVD. It's a combo. You got a booklet in there. There is reversible sleeve art. Uh, fantastic stuff. This was a, uh, it's uh, sort of back sort of says Italian neo-realism meets the coal mining country of uh, Ohio um, in the States. It's a 1967 movie. Um, interesting kind of a thing. Uh, I don't want to go into it too much because I will be talking about it in an upcoming video. But uh, yeah, it um, looks nice in black and white. They've done a fantastic restoration. Flickr Alley do, do great jobs on the restorations as well. I will mention that one. Um, jumping next... Uh, Actually picked this up off Terror Records over here. Um, Little Shop of Horrors Blu-ray didn't have it in the collection at all, and I thought like, well, comedy, uh, '80s I believe, isn't it? '86, uh, yeah. I'll I'll give it a watch, and um, it looks looks decent and um, sounds decent again. DTS, a lot of stuff's coming with DTS HD Master Audio these days. Um, 
what a fantastic cast. I mean, directed by Frank Oz and, you know, like Rick Moranis is in there. Alan Green, Vincent Gardenia, Steve Martin, uh, Bill Murray's in there. I kind of really just picked this up for Bill Murray. Um, uh, I didn't really like this at all. This is the director's cut. I don't want to say I didn't like it at all. I watched it and I don't know if I just wasn't in the mood for... Oh, probably sounds stupid, but I didn't really know it was kind of a musical sort of a, you know, a horror comedy type thing. Um, so I had it on. I wasn't really, I was watching, but I wasn't watching. Um, but Bill Murray was quite hilarious in this, I thought. Um, really cool. Uh, so I might give it a watch again at some point. Um, but I wasn't overly uh, a huge fan of this as I watched it. And the last one uh, that I've watched here recently, I picked this up Bob Zabby, um, Steelbook of Shape of the Shape of Water. And um, let me just take the uh, J card off here to kind of show you guys. Um, the creature or whatever you want to call him here is on the front, kind of sitting in his in his thing. We have the egg on the back there. Kind of open it up. The disc is pretty plain. What I kind of I will say about this um, version, I got this on sale from Zavi and. Um, there is only a 4K disc in it. There's no Blu-ray. You know, usually you kind of, you get the 4K disc and you get the Blu-ray disc. Um, not with this release, no, it's just a 4K. Um, a lot of people recommended this to me because I am a big fan of Creature from the Black Lagoon, as you probably know here on the channel, I've mentioned a few times. And um, what a fantastic movie, beautifully shot, like beautifully done. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm overly a fan of Guillermo del Toro, um, of his stuff at all. Um, so I really enjoyed this. I thought um, Sally Hawkins was fantastic in the like the lead role, uh, really well done. Doug, Doug Jones is in there, and he does a lot of creature stuff. He's fantastic. Um, yeah, I, I really did enjoy this. Really beautifully shot movie, beautifully done. Um, the one thing I didn't really like about it was towards the end where they're in the bathroom of her apartment and the, the bathroom's supposed to fill up with water. Like that's, I thought it was kind of like the un, the most unrealistic thing about the whole movie. But uh, yeah, I do, if you kind of like those um, sci-fi creature things and if you're into Del Toro, um, you will, yeah, you'll definitely probably like this. And uh really well done uh, nicely shot movie and beautifully done so that kind of rounds up um pretty much the last two weeks of my watch list here um let me know in the comments guys have you seen any of these uh would you like to see them are you going to pick any of these up and uh, what have you been watching let's continue the conversation i will return uh hopefully in like another week or two and uh, to kind of let you guys know what i've been watching as i said just purely to kind of you know uh, let you guys know that it's not always about buying the stuff just to have uh i do watch stuff as well and um, i actually have a notebook full of stuff where i wrote down everything i bought and never watched so i'm making my way back through those uh movies here as well plus if you want to kind of keep up with me what i'm watching kind of on a daily or you know uh, a more frequent basis than these videos do follow me on instagram and twitter the links have been up in this corner throughout the video and um, because i do post as i watch the stuff and give little kind of quick uh, thoughts on what i'm watching as i'm going along and uh, share some stuff from the collection here in the movie vault as well so that's going to do it for this video guys let me know if you like it and uh if you want to see more of this kind of thing just like what i'm watching watch recommends all that kind of thing um yeah that's going to do it if you like it please give a thumbs up and of course if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so and if you wouldn't mind consider hitting the bell to get notified every time i post a new video so you could be one of the first people to watch the videos here on the channel thanks for watching guys and i'll talk to you on the next one